Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Amazon. Last time we uh, had a good explore of the lighthouse and its secret underground wharf here um, and have a, a fairly robust idea of where the egg that we're searching for is hidden. It's somewhere up that track um, and, uh, and that we need to get on board this hydro float um, and fly it, sail it, fly it, sail it, uh, down there, uh, out into the open ocean and then head head across the ocean, um, presumably Atlantic Ocean if we're in France, must be, must be, uh, to South America, to the country of Amazon, to try and uh, once more return the white bird to its native country. Uh, but to uh, to get there, we've got to do a little bit of jiggery pokery first. So I think the first thing we're going to do this episode is head round here. We're going to solve the puzzle of how to uh, get to the egg first and foremost. Um, so we noticed last time that on the um, schematic of this area, there was a stop um, somewhere between the two that we can currently get to on the elevator. So. We need to go back up to the topmost one. Notice it sort of pauses for a second in the middle there. And there are three stops on the indicator. I think that's supposed to be a little bit of a visual clue as well. So in this area, I believe there is somewhere down here. Here we go. So this little little sleeve here is um, is hiding a little hole. And what we can do is take the uh, the pin that we found. I guess it's more of a rod, isn't it? Uh, and pop that in there. So in a very uh, sort of crude mechanical fashion, we can uh, manually stop the elevator um, by descending just far enough for that to catch the top of it. So let's do that. Generation, unfortunately not very convincing because it just stops halfway through. <laughs> but there you go, what can you do, eh? Um, so that's gonna stay there for a sec. And then if we have a look here, um, Professor Valenbois was was so uh, so cautious to keep the egg safe that he actually walled up this entire area. So he um, he really wasn't planning on taking the trip. I don't think not not with any immediacy. Um, but we, luckily we've got a sledgehammer, so we can uh, break through there. Nice little bit of animation there. And then yeah, we're on another catwalk. So let's let's carry on. As far as I know, this is just a, a linear sequence to get us where we need to go along the, um, the curving path that was in the, the drawing we saw. And there's this big steel door to, to pull aside. And then, we're in this, there you go. There's our egg friend wired up in this very strange contraption. So we're in this kind of dank, misty looking cavern, which doesn't look like it would replicate the conditions of being in a uh, a volcano particularly well, but let's let's evaporate this over here. Let's grab a look. So what have we got? We've got a uh, a large thermometer suspended from the ceiling, very high up in the ceiling, um, which says it is about eight degrees. Eight degrees of what? I don't know. But that doesn't sound very particularly warm. Um, you think it'd be centigrade in France, wouldn't you? Which is yeah, that's not that's not. Okay, let's pull this lever. Pres presumably that's gonna. Uh, yep. <laughs> what a what a perfectly bizarre device. Um, I I think now is probably a good as good a time as any tonight. The um, there's a real uh, um, dissonance, I suppose, in the game in that. Um, the story is um, that we're sort of um, developing through the little bits of dialogue we've had, those not really interactive dialogue, um, and the documents we're finding, um, is that it's quite an organic one about, uh, it's about people's relationships, it's about nature, it's a little bit about politics and statecraft as well by the sounds of it, so it's, it's kind of an organic uh, animal animal based story including humans in that category there um, but uh, the, w the way we're interacting with the world is purely mechanical and I do I mean I do um, like the um, 
the logic of the mechanical uh, operations that we're going through and I like the detail of them but it doesn't really seem to mesh with the um, the story that we're uh, experiencing I don't think well not at this stage anyway whether things will uh, come together later on in unexpected ways I don't know so I think what we can do now is go back down to the bottom because we've taken the pin out yes there we go and then we should be able to see the egg down there that looks like the egg yeah let's have a look how are you doing egg you look okay you look on skates I think this was a yeah there we go lovely um, so yeah, so now I think we've got to use this um, this winch on this kind of this moving gantry to uh, to get the egg into the uh, hydroflow. Although I'm pretty sure we could just lift it up and carry it. To be to be perfectly honest, but I think that's going to be what this device is for. So let's pull this lever, see what happens. The, um, the cutscenes are always really nice and, uh, and smoothly animated, which I enjoy because there's um, kind of a static sense in the uh, the two D images that are moving around, uh, so that it helps um, give the story a bit a bit more of a sense of life. Let's check out back in with the Hydra float. Um, no, I don't want to put that in there. Um, can I just not equip anything? Is that no, probably not. Um, I think the disc is still in there, right? Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't be doing this stuff. So the details are no, but the egg is okay. So the details, three digits. So I will uh, put anything in. There we go. Incoherent data. Uh, what a shame, eh? Okay. Indeed. Oh, how'd I get out of here? There we go, like that. Cool. Um, so we need we need those details, which I take to mean uh, a destination uh, for our journey. Hello, little egg. You look very comfortably ensconced there. I'm not quite sure how you got under the housing. From oh, well, never mind. Uh, but you you look fine, so that's good. Uh, so we need to work out uh, our bearing, I think. I think that's what the um, various viewing stations within the camp so far are trying to lead us towards. Uh, and I now think that we ought to investigate further the, the one document we haven't read, which is the uh, the uh, journey to the Amazon uh, journal. So this starts us off. So it gives us Alexandre Valenbois details. Um, Uh, di diverse notes and observations for explorers. So one, preparations for the journey, which is probably going to be useful. Then Puebla, uh, the Amazon uh, River, the oh Ovo Ovo Bla tribe. I think that was that was originally written. The cursive is quite hard to make out. Uh, the marshlands and volcanoes. So I think these are going to be like uh, different stages of the game, probably. Oh, can we go to each chapter? Oh, this is good. This is this document is so good. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the next page. Here we go. So it starts off about the Amazon goose, which could well be the birds that we're seeing when we look through the uh, the viewing stations that we find. So the Amazon goose owes its name to the fact that its annual migration leads it to the delta of the Amazon River, where it settles down for the winter. The simplest way to reach the shores of the Amazon would be to follow the same route of these birds were not the constraints of refuelling to be taken into account. 
and we seem to have noted that they fly at a uh, bearing of 140 degrees from our current location, um, which was marked in red on the viewer that seemed to be most frequented by Van and Bois. Uh, so this is uh, lovely illustrations, by the way. I, um, I really, uh, really appreciate them. So 19th of October 1932, David and Antonio watch the geese fly off towards the Amazon. So those are the two companions, I guess. The uh, um, the priest and the dictator, <laughs> to me. Um, okay, so 22nd of October 1932, 7 hours 53 minutes. Um, I guess that that's the time, isn't it? Uh, Setter, maybe? Um, at last, we are off. We follow a small flock of geese. The hydrofloat is performing beautifully. I am very proud of my invention and I am eager to test its sundry capabilities. So we get uh, some control notes here. Put your disc here. There's a klaxon apparently underneath the lever, which I think, after some study, I think that says grapnel, um, which would make sense. And start is there. If we need to do anything with these things. I think this is the, just the corner interaction. We can't actually start to use these controls from in the book. That would be incredible. Uh, but the I think the note we need uh, importantly now is that uh, this this plus five degrees is trying to indicate something to us. So the from the flight of the birds, we need to add five degrees to get to this place. So that's that's our clue. So I think what we need to do is uh, put 145 in, uh, to, to cut a long story short, as, uh, as the details for our journey. But before we do that, I'm curious about the top of the uh, lighthouse, because there was um, like a capstan wheel and, uh, and a um, through uh, a a device with a dial with room for um, triple digits. So I wonder if we're supposed to put 145 in there too, but I'm not really sure what that would achieve for us. Um, I would be curious to give it a go. So let's go through here. So uh, excuse the, uh, the long walk, but it's going to take a little while to get up there. Um, luckily, as long as we remember where we, um, which direction we're going, it shouldn't take too long. So back down another corridor, I believe, and then up some more stairs, and then we're at the base, like the ground floor of the lighthouse. So we need to go back up through the rooms. I kind of like the sound effect and the pause there. It um, throws us off a little bit. So there's this room here. We can we can fiddle further with the telephone. I've tried putting in various uh, numbers that might be applicable for emergency services in uh, in France, but none of them seem to do anything, unfortunately. Um, but it's it's nice that you can keep trying. We can have a look at um, the picture of Yakumani again. Um, but I still think that's all we can do in this room. Right. Okay. Back up here. I don't think there's anything else we can do regarding this. We spin the globe again, there. Let's do that and uh, head upstairs. So back out through this door onto the walkway around the uh, perimeter of the lighthouse, and then up these stairs and around this spiral stair and into the um, the lighthouse room itself. So where's the actual, which bit's the actual light then? Where's the lamp? Because normally it's the big, I guess it's this, isn't it? Is this the lamp? Although it doesn't look like it can shine out the sides. No. Maybe it's a defunct lighthouse. That would, that would uh, make a lot of sense actually. Okay, so uh, by fiddling around, I have worked out that uh, the left hand lever changes, uh, the moves the, um, the drum around, um, and the right hand lever changes which drum you're moving around. So first of all let's get one on there 
move it to the next uh, down along and do four and then move it to the next one along and then do five and then exit there and then turn the wheel because we haven't been able to do it to the wheel before now okay and it does seem to have settled at a slightly different angle but then I we can we can fiddle with it still um, I don't know what what that would achieve really because I think that the hydro flight is going to work the same way oh that wasn't there before was it the lift oh did, where is it it's not there now that's weird hang on So let's see the viewing station see if anything's going on. Yeah, there's somewhere over there. Flying through there. So that's good. Um So that's confusing. So yeah, so that looks like that's at the top of the uh the thing, but when we actually go down there, it's not there. Yeah, I guess I don't really know where in the geography the um the viewing station with all the butts is located. Oh, barred up window. Did we see that before? Um, yeah, so in theory, you could perhaps get in a lift from from here. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, so you'd think that you could get in a lift here, maybe. How strange. Um, yeah, that seems intentional, doesn't it? But we haven't seen the lift actually here at any point so far. Hmm. Perplexing. Alright, let's get back down. I'm uh, interested in... How do we get down from here? Interested in trying out the uh, other lift at the um, other end of the wharf walkway. Just to see if there's anything different about it or anywhere we can go. Let's head down into the basement, through here, down here, through here, keeping down this corridor, into here, into this lift, operating the lift. Heading back out through here, opening this door. Just down a few short flights of steps, round this way, angle ourselves discreetly upon this walkway, and then across here, and walk down this little race walkway here. I ho do hope this big door uh, opens automatically when we need it to, um, in this cool little tube lift, which does look like the one that goes up to the top of the lighthouse, I'll be honest. Well, you know, I suppose I didn't try going up again from here. Did I? I guess I didn't think to, but that is a possibility. There. There's just those 140 on there, so that hasn't really hasn't changed anything for us here that I can see which is interesting all right and then let's see if we can go up uh, close the door and then see if we can go up again oh nice so we could have done this all along well that's peculiar So I guess there's two ways of um, getting down to the... Well, no, I suppose it would have to be up the top for you to get down to the wall. So I don't, I don't really know what the benefit of this being here is. 
How odd. Okay, so that can go up here. And the um, so that means that the the viewing platform's gonna be sort of a floor down there looking out over the ocean. But yeah, I don't I don't quite get how that helps us, to be perfectly honest. Well, in that case, I think we've done all we can do. Let's see if we can take flight. Hmm. Curious. I don't imagine we can head further down from here, can we? Oh no, no, just exit. Interesting. Well, uh, that was... yeah. That's intriguing. Oh, you know what, maybe it's just there to serve as a shortcut to the top. So if you need to if you see the clue of 140 and then you work it out and you need to get up to the top, you can do it quickly. So it's sort of like some kind of expedience. Um, it would it would work for um, for Valenbois as well, wouldn't it? Right. So I think we are already. Um, let's just give it a go. See what happens. I don't think this is the um, kind of game that would allow you to leave things behind that you would need for later puzzles. I hope it's not. Anyway, I hope it's quite a, a linear thing. So let's give it a go. I hope we have everything we need to plane out of here. Um, okay, so I need to put in one, four, five, I think. Then to it with the asterisk. And then hopefully, oh, confirm destination. So that's better than incoherent data. So I think we're onto something. If you're located, it's okay. Egg okay. Hooray. Updating information. Yes, look. This is good. It's all going to work out. I mean, are we slowing down? I feel like we're slowing down. Oh, oh no. Okay, the door is opening. That's good. Come on, little hydro float. You can do it. Get out that ramp. Powered. Yeah, I did wonder what that was. Um, so I think all this would have happened even if we hadn't turned the wheel at the top of the lighthouse. I think it would. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that's about, but here we are. We're following the geese. This is quite a charming montage. Oh, hang on. Danger out of gas. Well, hopefully we've got to as far as we meant to with the gas that we were supposed to have. Chapter two, okay. Wow, I didn't know we were in chapter one, but okay, let's move forward. Into the story. Okay, Egg. Are you okay, Egg? Yeah, okay, cool. I see one phase, so that's good. Okay, so what can we do? We there's the island, the ship oh, hello. Is it just like all the documents? Can I separate them out? Oh. 
I guess if you hadn't read them in the first section, you don't get a chance now. Interesting. Um, and the other stuff is gone. Yeah, so I think it was Shipwreck. The uh, optimistically named Shipwreck Island. A large number of sperm whales have settled here. I fear that we might have hit one of them on approaching the channel uh, that leads to the atoll. That doesn't sound good. This atoll bears its name well. It seems to be the meeting place of all those who pace and explore the planet. Unfortunately, for many of them, this is where the adventure stops for lack of transport. Uh, this is a necessary stop. We need petrol for the hydro float. Okay, well, this character here looks like Dan Dare. Um, 25th October. The sperm whale we had hit has caused serious damage to our hydro. What about the sperm whale? I'm afraid that if Providence does not come to our sucker, our adventure will end right here on this wretched island. Let's remember, we lost all hope of repairing the hydro float. Well, it's not looking good, is it, for the return journey? Oh, we've got some character studies of uh, Mikowski and Alvarez. Uh, 10th November. We are in very poor spirits. We're indeed prisoners on this ill-fated atoll. We spend one. I uh, spend our time listening to stories told by the travellers passing through. Then, with a pang of anguish, we watch them set off again. Well, because nobody's got any spare petrol. Praise be to the gods, this 24th November. A Peruvian whaler has agreed to take us to the Amazon. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait for a Peruvian whaler, am I? Um, so I think probably the only things I can do are interact with the console. Uh, right, so if we... Uh, we haven't got fuel, so what can we do without fuel? Uh, maybe a boat? Not available. Uh, a submarine feels like it would take fuel. Um, sail? Wind power. Okay, this looks positive. Uh, and stylish. We can put those bat wings to use. Okay, look at that. I don't know how, how effective would that be for sailing. Two. Outside wings. Okay, we seem to have stopped again. Uh, did look, it does look kind of like the the entrance to the um, looks like that's like a caldera kind of thing is um, is blocked. Uh, uh, but uh, well, then we want to go under the water, right? Okay. You don't need fuel for a submarine? I am I feel like you would. Am I going to have to turn a hand crank or... No. Oh. <gasps> we read about those. They're sperm whales. Okay, well that looked ominous. Okay, is there going to be a dodge the, dodge the whale mini game? I doubt it. Oh, hiya. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was reckless. Ah, oh, there's going to be a person to talk to. Amazing. Right, can I get out? Yeah, I can. Brilliant. Oh, uh, I think Shipwreck Island is a great place to leave the episode. Um, and yeah, when we come back, we will discover just how shipwrecked we are. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.